Que lo que hay? It's your boy Mo Vibes. Today, man, we're gonna be reacting to some Andrew Tate. He just did a podcast with a woman called Just Pearly Things. She talks a lot about, you know, the feminist movement, about men, the dating scene, things of that nature. This should be a pretty good podcast, to be honest. Yeah, let's just get right into it. There has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever. Ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and kicks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I can do that and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same. <laughs> All right, no, so many feminists are going to hate what he has to say about this. To people who are feminists, if y'all are watching this, y'all hate Andrew Tate, I already know <laughs> y'all hate what he's saying. But I mean, it is true. All the great, the greatest conquerors through the beginning of time, you know what I'm saying, have always had multiple women. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're a regular guy, oh, you shouldn't have multiple women. You see, girls will get at you about that, but they ain't nobody getting on drake about it no one getting on chris brown about it oh but they're chris brown there's drake so it's different yeah exactly so that's a man with value men with value like that have multiple options so if you're gonna be dealing with a man like that you're gonna have to be okay with him having multiple options too because her value is high enough to attract so many males because she's beautiful for example it is completely different and i'm gonna explain to you why it's completely different so buckle up it's hey, different it's different go. it's different well i'll tell you why Go it is impossible Sassy. for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention for a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated that's once every couple years if that you ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say yeah he's worth pussy yeah he treats me good enough to get my pussy da -da -da. and you know what's funny about the universe it's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. they can just look at a bitch and go oh Ugh. and that's yeah. the way it works so you have to be very careful as a female and sit and go does this man truly deserve to fuck me and if you think about it the answer 99 percent of the time especially if you're promiscuous is no so when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows god knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all that's just the way it works can i ask you a question wait 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 answer wait, wait. So one second sir may i ask uh -oh. you a question what would you say if a woman now is married to two men Haram. Haram. Why? <laughs> no i'll tell you why let's talk about this mm. what is the difference between a man let's say me i have four wives right what's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men you can impregnate the four wives at the same time you can impregnate the four wives at the same time and we know who the parents are right so yes. you, let's say you had four pregnancies you know who the mother is because she's carrying <laughs> the baby true, and you know who the dad is top g if you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant who's the, who's the parents what about if the, no i'm asking okay you know? i ask what if they're different races answer the question you don't answer know. the question you don't know. <laughs> now, more you, you see how she's trying to just like avoid it it's so funny like modern women they they always do that they can never answer the question head on modern women with a high body count like they always have to try to like find a way around the the, the question they can never handle it straight on they're very indirect it's crazy science and then you see britney grinder right here she's like oh. not liking what he has to say but it's facts you know what i'm saying you you chose to sleep around with a whole bunch of men now you got to deal with it and obviously she hates you know that the internet is always calling her hoe and this and that but you put your life on blast now you got to deal with the repercussion i mean that's what that's what it is you know you know if a man's a loser the world lets him know he's a loser and and that it is what it is by him not getting pussy by men not respecting him him not having any status wealth no, no say in anything that's what it is we got to handle that we got to deal with it but when it's a woman's time to hold accountability if she's slept around a lot in her past and now you know what I'm saying? She's having a hard time finding a man or settling down. 
you created your past, you know what I'm saying? Wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. If you have a woman fucking four dudes, you don't even know who, who got her pregnant. So may I just it's say- It's disgusting. Wait, wait, have, have, may, you, have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, that's, oh yeah, I saw that. May I just say something then? So if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is, you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant. Sometimes they don't even know they have children. That's a wrong, no? No, it's completely different. It's different because you have to understand I'm talking about humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago. If a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't work a job. She couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman literally needed that man for survival. So if if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, mm -hmm. I'm like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? None of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. This is why in most mm -hmm. of the world today, still today virginity is so coveted and throughout all of history has been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity mm -hmm. she's a virgin i know that's my baby she ain't a virgin prove it's mine outside of this modern science bullshit shaitan the devil we have here in the west <laughs> and most of the world today without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh anti-promiscuity you can't tell that that's your baby so mm -hmm. it's a completely different thing you're looking at the idea of a man a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men and saying one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when i'm fat and moody and annoying and i need my bills paid and all the hmm. men are going to sit there and go, no, fuck no, prove it's mine. You can't prove it. Bounce. Where it's different. If I get four women pregnant, we know, the, we know yeah. the deal. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So, obviously, back then, for survival, women uh, needed a... Brittany is pissed. Look how she took that break. <laughs> she's like... She's like, bitch. Uh, meditate. Zodiacs. Zodiacs. Surge. Sage. Sage. Usa. Usa. <laughs> can't even look at him in, in the eyes it's, it's so funny like just her whole body language right i, I already know what, what, what she wants to say in today's society given evolution given the fact that as women we can go Still again yeah but i'm i'm not saying that isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies i think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now glitch in what way in the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, With, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's, mm. but it's, but it's mm. bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. And two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm an independent, I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men be my OnlyFans and if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by a man the house you're living in was built by a man the car you're driving was, was designed by a man your whole life depends on men and the second anything bad were to happen to you the second you were physically threatened or times were to get hard or war were to start or famine or riots the first thing you do is find a big strong man shit yourself and throw the feminism out the window mm. feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling or there's yeah. a fucking broken down car or the tire needs changing then all that crap vanishes so it's garbage true. and this is the actual very so interesting true. thing i'll make a and that, that's so true you know what I'm saying? Feminism, they, they only believe in feminism when it when it fits their needs. A lot of times, uh, modern women, you know, they, they want equality, equality, but as soon as the equality doesn't match their needs or it's not good for them, oh, never mind, I don't want equality. You know, in, in a sense is what he's saying. So, I mean, it's true though. You know, and that's what I say, like men, they need to be more strong. You know what I'm saying? They need to be more direct with women and what they want. Cause I'm gonna be honest, men, they're just, especially this generation of men, a lot of them are weak. So a lot of men need to step up and women need to hold themselves accountable. You know what I'm saying? It's a two part play in this. You know what he's saying is true in, in the sense of like how women view feminism. Which is gonna be canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who can defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if you, all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out, and he told me, 
the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani Defense Forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistan Defense Forces to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani Defense Forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girls' school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girls' school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girls like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. But why don't the women fight? Can I ask? Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. Mm. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. So the second men don't defend it, it just, it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. And don't lie Listen. the people at home. Wait. No worries. I'll talk about my Never. personal you wanna story. Go to war? You no, fight wait. Let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really <laughs> like silly to assume that, for example, a woman because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like her. And, and school is not really what makes you intelligent. It's how you use your your knowledge that you've either learned from school or through someone else, through a mentorship, whatever it is, it's how you apply your knowledge <clears throat> that really makes you intelligent or not. Because you could have all the knowledge in the world on how to invest, but if you're not investing, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? You go into school, you could have a degree, but if you're not applying that degree into something that's useful in a sense, or to bettering yourself or in your career, or whatever, like, is it really, yeah, you got a lot of knowledge, but does that make you intelligent, you know? Tell you, who wants to normalize Let equality? Me. People are oh, feminists. Who no, else wants to? I want. Well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really no, all I want. What's stopping you from getting respect? Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I get respect. respect. I get respect. So that's you what just I want. Said that's you what want I like. respect. What I think is you don't even know what you want. I'll tell you what I want. As a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. Yeah. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot. A lot of women mm. may have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable Granny's to own smart. that. And the reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But other than that, I'm quite strong. And I would find things, I would find a way to protect myself differently. It, with that mentality, yeah, what would... Because this world has created it so where you can be like that. See what I'm saying? Like women can now have education, a, a certain career that can financially provide for themselves. But let's keep it real. Even before any of this, number one, you would need a man. And number two, she's saying this now because she's maybe you could tell in her 30s, 40s. And yes, she was saying she needs a man to procreate. She's saying this now because she's she's OK with being single. Guys still hit on her. But as soon as you turn old, old and men are coming at you the way you wanted to and you see all your best friends have family and kids and they're happy and you're alone at home with a 1.2 million dollar house and a cat then you're gonna really realize like damn this this sucks you know what i'm saying and then christmas time comes around and you're spending it with your cat alone versus your your girlfriend who's inviting all her nieces and 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 you know what i'm saying like it's gonna hit different so you can say that now but give it 20 30 years and then see how your life plays out Danava, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door <laughs> what would i do <laughs> okay you, i'll tell what you what would you do what would one, you do no, she's, 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 she's a feminist i'll she's tell a you no i'm not a she feminist was shit and I'm, I'm not i'm not a feminist i'm i'm a bit smarter <laughs> Okay, Either okay. I play these dead, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and an, kill me, let's make an there's not much point. that many people but can let's do. let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing, uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that where there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where all gets fucked up. We try exactly. to pretend it's yes. all the same. Exactly. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. Exactly, that, and just how I was saying, like, men nowadays, a lot of them are 
too feminine or too soft. They're, they're pushovers. A lot of us men, we need to toughen up, become more men, be able to speak on, not hold things in and, and, and be able to speak, you know, about our problems to other men who can really relate. You know, be, being more direct, you know what I'm saying? No, telling them what you want, where you stand. And then, like I said, women, they just have to be more, hold themselves more accountable. Understand that submissiveness is not a, a bad thing. Every time a woman hears submission, she's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? They're always looking at it in such a bad light. You have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line and Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around these Pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to go fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. And I mean, that's true. When it comes to physicality, men usually are superior. You know, that's why you have to separate sports with the WNBA and the NBA. You couldn't have women playing in the NFL, bro. Women would die. It would be horrible. It would just be bad. And that's why, you know, they have to play a woman's league of football. Same with soccer. Same with any sports. Any sports. But in how you're saying, like, women, like, men are better at certain things. Women are better at the other. And that is true. You know, one thing that women are better at than men is being more sociably calibrated, you know. Like, women are a lot better when it comes to just being social with people, knowing how to bond, make connections, open up with people, and also just be socially aware of, like, like things that, like, people's intentions, you know, it's true. I'm not saying that men can't learn to be, you know, great at, at that either, but, you know, we're, we just have things that we're better than at. And instead of, I always say it all the time, instead of comparing our similarities, why don't we just appreciate our differences, you know? But yeah, man, that's facts, bro. Shout out Andrew Tate, those killing it. <laughs> yeah, man, that's that for my reaction. If you guys want me to react to more Andrew Tate videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and engaging. It means a lot. 2K on the way. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here and I'll catch you on the next one. So be easy.